Hey guys, Nathan James Williamson here, and in this exercise of aesthetic biomechanics, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to perform a TFM three-phase lap pull-down. Alright, so first things first, obviously we're gonna need a lap pull-down to perform a lap pull-down. Pick an appropriate weight where you can just get the feel of the exercise first. I'm gonna break this down for you and there's a lot to break down. All right, now there's a million types of lap pull-down bars. This particular bar is what I want you guys to use. Make sure this is the sort of bar you get, other bars won't work the same. Now first things first, it's all about posture. So when we're sitting on the chair, always make sure our glutes are retracted at the, throughout the entire movement. The reason being is because in this particular exercise, we're not just targeting the upper portion of your lat, we're also targeting the lower portion of your lat. And by keeping your glutes retracted, it's gonna encourage you to engage that muscle more effectively. I'm gonna show you guys. First things first, hands at shoulder width apart. Onto the bench. Now, like I said before, always make sure your glutes are retracted. Now, we call it a three phase exercise because there's three phases to this motion. The first motion being the stretch. What we do is we keep our glutes retracted at all times throughout the entire motion, upwards and downwards. We lean forward and we apply as much tension onto our lats as we can. We call this a PNF stretch. Now what that means is this bar in my hands right now is pulling my lats up. And in my head, what I'm doing with the retraction of my glutes, I'm sort of pulling my lats back down to create tension or resistance on both sides of my lat. First thing I do is I lean forward, head under the bar, and as I'm, that's the first phase of the motion. Second phase is I start leaning backwards. Now when I start leaning backwards, I push my elbows into the side of my body. That encourages me to engage the lower portion of my lat, which is the part of everyone's back, which is always the most underdeveloped. Leaning forward, leaning back, elbows tuck under, engage in the lower portion of your lat, holding the contraction for a second. And the third portion, again, is as the bar's going up, my body's levering with the weight. This is where the leverage technique I'm gonna explain in later videos comes in as well. Okay, so this is where everybody goes wrong. Understand that everyone's clavicles are different lengths and everyone's levers or arms are also different lengths, which means the exercise as a whole is gonna change the range of motion of the movement is gonna change based upon your levers. For example, all you need to understand is that muscles grow by stretching and contracting. We wanna engage the deepest stretch we possibly can and contract as hard as we possibly can. When I go up, I'm going up as high as I can to feel the deepest stretch possible using that PFF, PNF stretching method I told you guys about. From the top of the motion, we engage my lat and we only go down as far as we have to go down to engage the bottom of your lat. Based upon length of arms, if you have longer arms and a narrower, uh, narrower torso, you don't have to go so far down because your lats, the bottom part of your lat is gonna contract earlier in the movement because your levers are longer. It would be the opposite if you had a wide torso and short arms. All right, now I'm gonna show you guys the things that we don't want you guys to do when performing this particular exercise. Now, understand that all we're trying to do is target our back, not our arms. Just touching base on range of motion again. For me, that's my full stretch. My full contraction would be there. Notice how close it is to my chest. If I go any closer, my head's gonna go over the bar and my arms are gonna work, which is what we don't want. Understand the whole entire principle, like I always say, with this aesthetic biomechanics is to engage certain muscles to grow your body a certain way. If in certain movements we're using secondary muscles that we don't wanna work, it completely takes away from the whole entire approach to aesthetic biomechanics. Now to perform this exercise, hand placement is also very important. What I want you guys to do is look at the width of your shoulders, put your hands straight up, and then just outside the width of your shoulders is the placement of your hands are gonna to be to be able to perform this exercise. Now this particular exercise you guys can do at any stage of your workout. 
Me personally, as a usual, I would prescribe this exercise at the start, purely because the lower lat region on most people's bodies are a little bit underdeveloped. So by incorporating blood flow into that area at the start of workout, it's gonna encourage those muscles to work later on in the bigger compound movements. That's really gonna get you growing. Now for this exercise, again, five working sets, 15 reps per set, and remember, progressive overload every single set. All right, guys, that's how you perform a TFM three-phase lat pull-down. I want you guys to give this a shot in your next back workout and leave a comment in the box below on how you went. Thank you for tuning in to this video. We hope you enjoyed watching. Don't forget to check out our latest upload and our recommended video and be sure to subscribe to the Massive Joe's YouTube channel to stay up to date with all of our latest uploads.